We're back live here on WLAQ and about to give you the starting lineups. Or actually, Nathan Patterson, PA announcer here at Model, we're going to turn it over to him for the starting lineups. But we are about 25 seconds away from the start of our nightcap. Again, pitting the Model Blue Devils against the Chattooga Indians here inside Water Gymnasium. And again, this is one of those games that I don't care what either coach tells you, this one's circle long before the season begins. These two teams and these two coaches, they like to really get after it. And it makes it a tremendous amount of fun for the fans. So I expect it's going to be a really intense atmosphere as this game gets going and throughout the night here at Model High School. Here's Nathan Patterson, the PA announcer. Ladies and gentlemen, the starting lineups for our final game of the evening. Wearing black jerseys with red numbers, the starting lineup for the visiting Chattooga Indians. Number three, Damian Smith. Number four, Trey Smith. Number 11, Xavier Gray. Number 22, Brody Mobs. And number 23, Jalen Johnson. Head coach for the Indians, Coach Jared Gross. And now wearing white jerseys with blue numbers, the starting lineup for the model, Blue Devil. Starting at point guard, a five foot seven inch senior, number 10, Darian Richardson. Starting at forward, a six foot two inch senior, number 23, Cole Mathis. Starting at forward, a six foot five inch junior, number 25, Judd Kennis Hurd. Starting at guard, a six foot one inch senior, number 30, Dane Fisher. And starting at center, a six foot nine inch sophomore, number 42, Jeremiah Hurd. Head coach for the Blue Devils, Coach Jacob Travis. All right, folks. Yeah. We are just about ready to go here for our nightcap. Model Blue Devils, Chattooga Indians, welcome in. Get settled in. You won't want to go anywhere because I promise you this is going to be an unbelievable basketball game. I'll be shocked if it doesn't go down to, to the final quarter of this basketball game, maybe even the last shot, as most of these games tend to in recent years between Model and Chattooga. Jakinis Hurd and Jalen Johnson in the circle and opening up things on offense will be the Chattooga Indians after winning the tip. Ringer's going to leave it off for Johnson. They feed it to the right wing side, and Damian Smith, he'll drive into the paint, leaves it for Ringer, shot up. That won't go. Darian Richardson's there to pull down the board here for the Blue Devils. On to Fisher. He goes right into the paint, tries to lay it in, rattles off the rim. Rebound is going to go to Fisher. He kicks it out. There's a three-pointer for Cole Mathis. That'll rim out. Jakinis Hurd tracks down the rebound, keeps it in, but it goes to Chattooga. Stolen away by Richardson, turning and shooting off the glass, open up the scoring. It's Jakinis Hurd, 2-0. Model opens things up here with a two-pointer. Here come the Indians on the other side of the floor. Damian Smith, he'll lose the handle, resets the offense. Now to Ringer, back to Smith, leaves it off for Mobs. Jump shots missed. There's Jakinis Hurd for the rebound. Model works it from right to left, wearing their white uniforms. They got blue letters and numbers with black trim. Chatuga steals it away. Johnson's got it. He drives into the paint, feeds it right wing side. Three-point look. That one won't go for Chatuga. It's a one-and-done trip down the floor as Jakinis Hurd gets up and pulls down the rebound. Pass into Fisher was almost picked off, but it was deflected out of bounds by Chatuga and Brody Mobs. So Model will inbound the ball in the back court and bringing it across the center court stripe is Darian Richardson, the point guard for the Blue Devils. He kicks it out to Mathis up top to Jeremiah Hurd. Now they go around the horn to Fisher for three. Yes, sir. Dane Fisher with a three-point shot. 5-0 run to start the game here for the Blue Devils. Brody Mobs out to Jalen Johnson, fires it into the corner, a corner three for Chattooga on the other end. Count it, Damian Smith. 
And now it's 5-3. to three. Blue Devils open up the game on a 5-0 run, but it is stopped by Damian Smith on the other end by Chatuga. He picks up the first points of the night here for the Indians. Darian Richardson back up top. They get it into Jakinis Hurd with a pass from his brother, Jeremiah. Shuffles his feet as he got tied up between two defenders and the official called the traveling. So here comes Chatuga back the other end of the floor with it. Damien Fisher across the timeline, dribbles left. A pick set by Ringer for him. Here is a three from way up top. That is a miss. Jakinis Herb pulls out another board. He'll feed it off to Darian Richardson. Richardson at the top of the keys. Screen set for him. He shoots the three. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound taken by Trey Smith of Chattooga. Goes right into the paint. Puts up the shot. Misses. Dane Fisher there for the rebound. 5-18 remaining first quarter. Model up 5-3. Fisher has the ball nearly stripped. Retains possession. There's Jakinis Hurd for three. That rims out. Rebound taken by Brody Mobs. The Indians go back the other way, firing it to the right wing corner, driving is Trey Smith. Back up top to Damian Smith. He'll spin around. Cole Mathis puts up the jump shot. It's good. So Damian Smith will tie it up. Five apiece, 452 left first quarter. Darian Richardson across the center court stripe. He'll drive right. Now towards the low block. Feeds it back out to Jeremiah Hurd. Heard on to Cole Mathis on the left wing side, back up top to Richardson. Jakinis Heard to Richardson. He'll reset the offense here for the Blue Devils. Dribbles between his legs, feeds it out the left wing side, and Mathis fires it into Jeremiah Heard, and a reverse layup for him is good. Jeremiah Heard's first basket of the game give the assist, certainly because he earned it to Cole Mathis with a great pass inside. Damian Smith on the ringer. Three-point shot. That is going to be a high off the rim. Rebound taken by Cole Mathis. Here comes Dane, Dane Fisher across the timeline. Dribbles left. He feeds it into Jeremiah's herd. He goes in, gets blocked, but you may have heard the slap there across the crowd noise. So they got his hand on there, and we see Jeremiah's herd going to the free throw line. So right now, model in this game over the last couple of possessions have been trying to utilize their big man down low, Jeremiah's Hurd, and he gets to the line. That free throw a little bit flat, rattled around the rim, had, thought it had a shot there for a second, but it rattled off. Joey Samples checks in for Jaginis Hurd. He'll go take a breather over. Actually, he's kind of grabbing at his stomach right now. Might have got poked in the rib or something, and the trainer looking at him, so that's why he checked out of the game so early. That one's going to be a little flat as well on the free throw. He missed the pair. And now the ball is back in the hands of the Chattooga Indians. They trail on the road 7-5. to five. Inside pass to Ringer off the glass. Rattles around the rim and off. Joey Samples and Jeremiah's Herb battle for the rebound. Rolls loose on the floor. Picked up by Darian Richardson. Here's Cole Mathis on the other end. Tries to feed it down low to Jeremiah's Herd. And the ball is going to ricochet out of bounds off of one of the Chattooga players, and Darian Richardson will feed it in here for the Blue Devils underneath their own hoop. Trey Smith checks into the game for Ringer, and they're having a look at him on the sideline. Samples takes the inbound pass, banks it high off the glass and in. Samples with his first basket, modeled with a 9-5 lead. 3.33 left to go first quarter. Jalen Johnson on the other end to Trey Smith. He'll hand it off to Damian Smith. He'll put up the shot. That rattles out the floater, a miss. Darian Richardson now with the ball after Model rebounds it. Here's Dane Fisher. He goes down towards the other end of the floor, picks up the dribble, kicks it out to Richardson. Now back out to Cole Mathis. And we'll see Richardson set up the half-court offense here for the Blue Devils after a reset. 3.05 left to go in the first quarter. Model 9, Chattooga 5. Richardson puts up the three. It's no good. Corey Gibson into the game for Chattooga has a rebound. He'll leave it off for Trey Smith. Dribbles between the legs and around Fisher. Leaves it off for L.A. Riley, who's into the game. There's a corner three on the right wing side blocked by the Blue Devils. Blue Devils have got it. Here comes Darian Richardson across the timeline with the ball. Richardson over to Samples, who's at the top of the key. Now back to Richardson. Pick set by Samples. 
Darian Richardson dribbles right, gets it to the hands of Dane Fisher. Now they'll work it up to the top of the key. They get it into Samples, and he puts it off the glass and in gets the foul and one. And it's worth noting that the pass that was coming inside to Samples was deflected, popped up in the air. Samples stayed with it, got the ball, put up the shot, made it, got fouled in the process. So that was an interesting sequence right there. And great effort by Joey Samples. See if he can knock down this free throw, and he does. Joey Samples with a three-point play, 12 to five, model on top by seven. Here come the Indians across the timeline with it, Damian Smith. He'll dribble to the top of the key, dribbles between his legs, picks it up, feeds it off to Gibson. Now back up top to Trey Smith. Smith dribbling, trying to get around Richardson, leaves it off for Damian Smith. And right now he's at the top of the key, back around to the right wing side of Trey. Great defense right now from the Blue Devils, but off the glass and in is Trey Smith. Worked around a couple of defenders and made the basket. We're still in the first quarter, folks, and we're glad that you are with us on WLAQ. Model with the basketball, Braxton Sims in the game. They work it around the horn to the left wing side over to Cole Mathis, now back out to Richardson. And Richardson hits the deck. Ball kick out of bounds. I think Samples last touch that he did. And Serge Tuga's going to get the ball back. Right now trailing 12 to 7 here playing model on the road. And checking out of the game is Darian Richardson. Checking back in is Jakinis Hurd. So right now for the Blue Devils, Jakinis Hurd, Joey Samples, Dane Fisher, Cole Mathis, and Braxton Sims for Chatuga. Jalen Johnson, who has the ball, Xavier Ringer. Corey Gibson, Brody Mobs, and L.A. Riley. Chatuga with the ball trailing by five. They feed it to the right wing side, and that's a three-point shot off balance shot from Jalen Johnson is a miss. Across the timeline with it goes Dane Fisher directing traffic. Pick set by Samples. Fisher tries to work around it, feeds it down low to Samples, and he travels. So that'll be a turnover for the Blue Devils. Chatuga getting the ball back, trailing by five with 51.3 seconds left on the clock here in the first quarter of play. Model hosting Chatuga tonight here in Woodard Gymnasium. Model basketball night on WLAQ presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales. Brody Mobs over to the left wing side to a cutting Jalen Johnson. Inside to LA Riley off the glass and in. Pretty nifty move, backdoor cut by L.A. Riley, taking the pass and going up and making the basket. 12 to nine, three point deficit now for Chatuga. Model with the basketball on the other end. There's Braxton Sims all alone for three and that one's off the rim. Ball goes out of bounds, it's coming back to Chatuga. Checking into the game for the first time of the evening for Model is Jalen Searcy. Checking out Joey Samples. So Model has been utilizing their bench here early in this basketball game. And they're a team that does have some pretty decent depth. They can keep fresh legs out on the floor. And you see Jacob Travis take advantage of that a lot. They get it up to the top of the key. Chatuga with the ball trailing by three. And they don't get the shot off before the buzzer almost went in. I don't think they were quite aware of how much time was left on the clock. But that's the end of our first quarter. Model up 12 to nine over Chatuga. We'll be back in one minute.
Welcome back inside the Woodard Gymnasium on the Model High School campus. Model Blue Devils hosting Chattooga tonight. Right now they lead it 12 to 9 as we open up our second quarter. Cutting to the basket was Trace, or Model had it on the other end, and a cutting Trey Smith is able to pick it off. They're headed the other way. Jalen Johnson with it, goes right into the paint, kicks it out, a fake shot. Now Ringer is going to fire it back up to the top of the key, and Chattooga with the ball, Brody Mobs, nice pass down low to Ringer, and he gets the finish. So Ringer, or Gray, I should say, gets his first basket of the game. Fires it off the left wing side, off the glass, and won't go for Jeremiah's herd. He'll fire it back out to Cole Mathis after the rebound. They get it off to Dane Fisher. Fisher down to the low block, shoots and scores. So Fisher with five points in the game. It is 14 to 11 in favor of the model Blue Devils. Top of the key with it, Jalen Johnson. Leaves it off for Trey Smith. Smith on to Mobs. Mobs driving towards the low block. Feeds it out to Gray. Shot is up. It's no good. Rebound going to be taken by Jakinis Hurd. Not his first board of the night. He's done a great job on the boards. They get it to Cole Mathis on the left wing side. He drives in. Turn. Shoots. Caroms off the rim. Rebound taken by Xavier Gray. And an outlet pass to the right wing side. And a shot and it's missed. Rebound's going to be taken by Chatuga. There's another three-point look, this time for Trey Smith, a miss. They get another long rebound. They'll feed it back out, and Jalen Johnson with the ball looks off to the sidelines. They'll reset the offense. Gray with the basketball, kicks it out. There's a long three-point shot, and, buddy, he tickles the nylons with that one. Damian Smith for three. He's got eight points, and we got a tie ball game. 14 apiece, six-minute mark of the second quarter, and a timeout is called by Jacob Travis of Model. So let's take one as well. 5.59 left to go, first half. 14 apiece between the Model Blue Devils and the Chattooga Indians when we come back in one minute. I want to thank my good friend and board operator back at the studio, Lynn Butler, does a great job. And he caught me slipping just there because I called for a one-minute break when we only needed a 30. So thank you, sir. We got back in time thanks to your heads-up uh, board operation there. We appreciate you producing the broadcast tonight from the home studios. Dane Fisher with the ball and puts up a three-point shot. That's going to be off the rim. Rebound taken by Hurd. He gives it off to Fisher who goes in and – Kisses it off the glass and in. So Fisher gets two points there. He's got seven. Chatuga with it on the other side. Gray gets blocked. Jeremiah's Hurd was there. Now a three-point look on the way. Rebound's going to be taken by Model. Cole, uh, Cole Mathis came away with it. He's got the ball after the pass across the court. Dane Fisher spins around now with the ball in his hands. And we're going to have a whistle and a foul that's going to go against Chattooga. They got Trey Smith on that one. That's his first. Model set to inbound the ball underneath their own basket with 5.05 left to go here in the first half. Model leading it 16 to 14. Braxton Sims trying to pass. It is poked loose by Chattooga. They got the ball. They go the other way. Layup attempt is too strong and missed by Trey Smith. Here comes Model with it after the rebound. Blue Devils with it. Cole Mathis on to Richardson. Here's Jalen Searcy. Fakes. Gets ready to go in. Picks up his dribble. Gives it off to Braxton Sims. Shakes off a defender. Feeds it out to Darian Richardson. He'll back up and reset the offense here for the Blue Devils. Richardson with a pick set for him. Puts up the three. It won't go. Brody Mobs gets the long rebound. Here comes Jalen Johnson across the timeline with it for the Indians. Indians in their black uniforms with white letters and numbers. 
has red trim. They feed it back out. There's a three-point look for the Indians. That rattles off the front of the rim. Cole Mathis is there for the rebound for the Blue Devils. Gives it off to point guard Darian Richardson. Now back on to Mathis. He feeds it into Jeremiah's herd. P missed the shot. Puts up a putback. It won't go. He's got a third attempt. Missed it. Braxton Sims tries to tip it in. He can't get it to go, but he draws the contact, and we're going to see him go to the free throw line. So a great battle underneath, and fortunately for Model, it ends up with an opportunity from the free throw line because it looked like they were going to come up with nothing here. We'll see what happens from the free throw line. Sims puts it up, and it rattles out. They still may come up empty here on this trip. We'll see. He's got one more free throw attempt. Checking in for Jeremiah's herd is Joey Samples. Xavier Gray and Damian Smith will go have a seat for Chatuga. Checking in Corey Gibson and then also Brady Gross. One more for Sims. It's on the way and that one's off the front of the rim. So an empty trip there for the Blue Devils despite two free throw attempts and four shots before that. That was a tough possession. Brody Mobs fires it across court to Corey Gibson. Now into the hands of Jalen Johnson over in the corner being guarded by Braxton Sims. Johnson tries to fire it inside to Brady Gross. The ball is tied up. Possession arrow staying with Chatuga, so the Indians will retain possession of the basketball with 3.41 left to go here in the second quarter. Model 16, Chatuga 14. We figure to be a close one in Halfway through our second quarter, it has been. There's a shot that rattles around the rim. Finally goes in. That was Brady Gross with his first basket of the game. Cole Mathis on the right wing to Jalen Searcy. Fisher over to Richardson on the left wing side. He'll give it back up to Searcy, who now drive towards the paint, feeds it back out to Cole Mathis. Mathis will drive towards the top of the key. Leaves it back out for Richardson. I bet they'll reset the offense right here, and he backs up, and that's exactly what they'll do. So Cole Mathis with it over to Fisher, a long three. That was a bit out of range. Didn't catch rim, but Cole Mathis kept it in bounds for the Blue Devils. Here's Richardson, turns around, shoots, but that was after apparently he must have shuffled his feet and a turnover for the Blue Devils. So we're tied at 16 apiece. Jatuga and Model playing here inside Woodard Gymnasium. The Indians across the timeline. Jalen Johnson's going to leave it off for Brody Mives, who drives into the paint from the top of the key. Searcy steals it away here for the Blue Devils to Fisher. Back to Richardson. Richardson for an open three, and that one won't go. Ball is not loose, and we have some contact and a foul. It's going to be charged against the Blue Devils. They're going to get Cole Mathis with that one, and now the Indians will bring it up the floor. Two team fouls. Well, I'm not sure how many team fouls for the Blue Devils. The scoreboard shows one, but pretty sure there's more than that. Trey Smith leaves it off for Corey Gibson. Jalen Johnson with the basketball. Now for the Indians. We're all tied up at 16 apiece with 2.20 left to go in the first half. Gibson. We'll leave it off for Mobs. He's at the top of the key. Now back over to Corey Gibson. Gibson between the legs. Fires it to the right wing side. Hanging on to it. It's Trey Smith. Dribbles baseline. And Jalen Searcy picks up a foul here for the Blue Devils. So scoreboard shows two team fouls for each team. We're tied at 16 apiece. 2.04 left to go here in the first half of play between Model and Chatuga. Jalen Johnson triggers it in, gets it in to Damian Smith. He'll back his way up, gets it off the left wing side to Gross. Now back over to Damian. Now on to Jalen Johnson at the top of the key. Looks off to Coach Gross over on the sidelines for some instructions. Setting up the play. Now they get it up top. There's Gross for three. That's off the back of the rim. Rebound battle for between Cole Mathis and Damian Smith. There was some contact. And they're going to get model for that one. Number 23, Cole Mathis. So we're going to see Damian Smith to set things in motion for Chattooga underneath their own basket. Checking into the game for Cole Mathis is Braxton Sims. As we just saw Cole pick up a couple of quick fouls here 
in our second quarter with 138 left to go here in the quarter. Uh, Damian Smith trapped over in the corner and ball is poked out of bounds by Darian Fisher. I said Darian Fisher Richardson, excuse me. I'm mixing, matching the names here. I apologize. It's been a long day. Of course, I spent a lot of my energy on that exciting game in the second half between the Jatuga Lady Indians and the Lady Blue Devils. What a finish to that game. Jatuga coming out on top by four, but they started the game on a 17-0 run. Jalen Johnson feeds it out to Gross. Now back up top to Trey Smith. Smith will back his way out, and he'll back up to midcourt and reset the offense here for the Indians. Tied up at 16 apiece. We are officially at the one-minute mark. A three-point shot is missed by Trey Smith. And Jakinis Herr gets the rebound. He's in off the bench for the Blue Devils. Here is a long shot on the other end for Searcy. That one goes off the back of the rim, maybe a little too strong. But it's going to stay with the Blue Devils. Darian Richardson with it on the left wing side, and he is trapped, loses the handle. And a whistle is called by the official, and the ball is coming back to the Blue Devils. And the Blue Devils will inbound the ball from their side of the floor. Braxton Sims here from the near side, model working from right to left. And they'll toss it in to Darian Richardson. High screen by Jakinis Hurd. Richardson goes in, kicks it out, corner three for Fisher. That's off the side of the backboard but he's got the ball back, fires it to the right wing. There's Darian Richardson for three. He's dialed in this time, yes, sir. Darian Richardson, after multiple tries, finally zones in on that one and models back to a three-point lead with 12 ticks left on the clock in the second quarter. Eight seconds left. Here's Chatuga, a little floater on the other end. He makes that one. That was Trey Smith, his second basket of the game, model up by one. And there's Fisher after the buzzer from three quarters of the court. And it wasn't going to go in regardless. So at the end of our first half, model clings to a one-point lead. Model 19, Chatuga 18. We'll be back after a full timeout. This production is by Northwest Georgia Media. If you would like to support our channel, you can do so by simply subscribing and sharing. You can also support the channel with donations via the Venmo app on your smart device. Simply open the app and search for Northwest Georgia Media under the business tab. Our Venmo handle is at NW Underbar Georgia Underbar Media. If you're a business owner and are interested in sponsorship opportunities, or if you'd like to get involved with our video production team, please email us at info at nwgeorgiamedia.com. Thank you for watching and for your support.
Arena there here tonight, taking in the Blue Devils uh, basketball night here at here at uh, Woodard Gymnasium, and they're often here. I always enjoy seeing them out here. And you should go see them out at 3420 Kingston Highway if you're looking for a tractor or a trailer or any kind of implements to go along with any of that kind of equipment. You can find it out there at Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales, and they're just wonderful people, easy to work with, and they will treat you like family. There's no question about that. So go see them also. If you're looking for a vehicle, you want to go up to Harvey South End Autos up there in Somerville, Georgia. Check out what they've got on the lot. they got a full inventory of cars, SUVs, vans, all kind of stuff they've got there. So go see Harvey's. Profile Custom Extrusions, always appreciate them being on board for us uh, for these basketball games. And then Wear Mechanical. We've had to call Wear Mechanical quite a bit here lately because uh, our heating system's, I guess, a little bit older and we've had some things go out. And man, they have taken excellent care of us and we certainly appreciate that. And, uh, and they do a great job. So we've got some great sponsors on for the game tonight, all people that I personally love to do business with. Well, we've got about 40 seconds left on the clock, so we'll just keep it right here and get you started with the second half here in just moments. Again, to bring up to speed, if you're just tuning in, the model Blue Devils are up 19 to 18 over the visiting Chattooga Indians. Leading scorer of the first half was Damian Smith for Chattooga with eight right on his heels. For the Blue Devils with seven points was Dane Fisher. And both of these teams have an excellent seasons at 14 and five. In the, in the uh, overall, Chattooga been a little bit better in region play. They are perfect at 7-0 and and model at 5-3. and So, again, just two really, really well-coached, talented basketball teams squaring off here tonight inside Woodard Gymnasium, man. I'm sure you just heard the buzzer sound, which means that we're about to get back underway and a whole other half to go and a game that is anything but decided at this point a one-point ball game model will open up with possession of the basketball as we begin our second half. Jeremiah's Hurd feeds it underneath to Jakinis Hurd off the glass and in. Brothers and teammates connecting there for the basket. 21 to 18, modeled up by three. 7.43 left to go here in the third quarter. Dribbling baseline as Jalen Johnson Gets into the paint, shoots, draws the contact. So we're going to see Johnson going to the free throw line here for the Chattooga Indians. And he's been fairly quiet in this basketball game so far. Certainly not something you expect to see. And the first free throw is on the way. That one's going to rim out. And he'll get ready for his second free throw. So again... Jalen Johnson at the charity stripe after being fouled by Jeremiah's Hurd. Second shot on the way. That one is right through the net. So Jalen Johnson makes one of the pair, cuts it back to a two-point basketball game. Darian Richardson brings it across the timeline here for the Blue Devils. He'll feed it over to Dane Fisher, who drives to the basket and scores and made it look easy, to be honest with you. He's got nine points, model out to a four-point lead. 23 to 19. Damian Smith across the timeline here for the Chattooga Indians. Gave it to Trey, back to Damian. Pick set by Gray. Now on to Jalen Johnson, back to Gray. He goes into the paint, puts up a floater off the glass, and it goes. Xavier Gray with his second basket of the game. Across the timeline, Richardson goes. As he goes across the timeline, passes it to Jakinis Hurd. Model now working from left to right, by the way. Here's a long three-pointer. That won't go for Fisher, but Jakinis Hurd's there for the rebound and the putback. It won't fall. And Fisher keeps it in bounds, but he keeps it in bounds to Damian Smith and Chattooga. Here comes Chattooga on the other end. Smith with it. He'll kick it out to the top of the key, and a three-point shot for Gray is missed. There's Jakinis Hurd, who's been a force on the boards tonight, picking up the rebound for the Blue Devils. Now to the right wing side, they work it to Cole Mathis. He'll pick it up, fire it on, they work it around the horn over to Dane Fisher, drives towards the low block, puts up the shot, well contested, and hangs on the rim for a moment, and then falls through. So Fisher with a couple of quick third quarter baskets, model on top again by four, 25 to 21. Here comes Damian Smith for the Chattooga Indians on their side of the floor. Back out to 
Trey Smith, and he goes over the top. So that's a turnover here for Chattooga, and we get ready for Model to inbound the ball after the Chattooga turnover. Dane Fisher triggers it in to Darian Richardson, who dribbles across the logo, angled toward the left side. Now back up top, being guarded by Jalen Johnson. Passes it on to Jakinis Hurd. Now to Cole Mathis. Tries to fire it underneath to Jeremiah Hurd. Ball is deflected out of bounds by Chattooga. So it's going to stay with the Blue Devils. But a good job by Chattooga getting their hands in there, shutting down the passing lanes. Inbound pass goes to Jakinis Hurd. He posts up, shoots, rolls off the rim. His brother Jeremiah is there for the putback. It won't fall, but he does get fouled. So we'll take another trip to the charity strike where he's 0 for 2 in this ball game so far. So Jeremiah's heard wearing his trademark pink shoes. Puts up the free throw and it is good. We'll get ready for another one. 25 to 21, five point lead for the Blue Devils. We got 5.33 left to go here in the third quarter of this contest. Jeremiah's heard with one remaining from the stripe and that one's gonna carry him off the rim. And I thought Cole Mathis was going to get the rebound, but coming up with it's L.A. Riley for Chattooga. They already have it on the other side into the corner. A corner three from Brody Mobs is missed. Long rebound taken by Jakinis Hurd. He's getting extra credit around the rim for the rebounds tonight. Cole Mathis sends it into the paint to Jeremiah Hurd, who can't get the shot off, but he's fouled. So we're going to see Hurd back at the stripe for the third time tonight, where he's one of four with two more attempts coming up. So Jeremiah set the free throw line. Shot on the way, that's gonna go off the back of the rim. And he missed that one, he'll get ready for another one. Check on our college basketball schedule for you in just a minute. I know we've got some coming up at some point later in the week. That shot is good, he makes two of the uh, one of the pair. And it's 26 to 21 with model on top of the Chattooga Indians. I can't believe that it's gonna be Wednesday tomorrow. Cutting towards the basket, taking the pass, LA Riley and the shot. He missed, but he's gonna go to the charity strike because there was some contact underneath. But we'll get back into some Georgia Tech basketball for you tonight, uh, tomorrow night at nine o'clock. Tip off for Georgia Tech at Virginia Tech playing in Blacksburg after a couple of home games last week, picking up an upset victory over Florida State, and they followed that up with a comeback attempt against Miami, but they ended up losing the game as things would turn out. First free throw is missed by Ellie Riley. He's got another one coming up. It's been a tough season for Georgia Tech, but again, they'll get back after it tomorrow night at nine. You can listen on WLAQ if you'd like to. Second shot goes in for Ellie Riley from the stripe, and we got a timeout. We'll take one as well. 5.01 left on the clock in the third quarter. Model 24, Chattooga 22 when we come back after a 30 second break. back live here from inside Woodard Gymnasium on the campus of Model High School. Tuesday night hoops for you on WLAQ presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales as well as our other fine sponsors Harvey South End Autos, Profile Custom Extrusions and Wear Mechanical all on board to bring you coverage of tonight's game via the radio. Matt Davis for the play-by-play -play of both games for you tonight, both varsity games. And the Blue Devils have the ball and a five-point lead as we resume play. Fisher's got it. He is tied up between two defenders, kicks it out to Cole Mathis. Now back up to Darian Richardson. Richardson at the top of the key, out to Fisher. They got him bottled up. 
So back on to Cole Mathis on the right wing side. He was trying to feed it inside of Jeremiah's herd, but the passing lanes inside are just shut down by this Chattooga Indian defense. Now they work it around the horn. They go inside, shot off the glass. They won't go, but we're gonna see more free throw shots coming up here for the Chattooga Indians. As the model fans, as you can probably hear, protest the call. Trey Smith is going to the free throw line with four points for him tonight. First free throw on the way, that rattles off the rim. We'll get ready for another. Model 27, Chattooga 22, 429 left to go third quarter. Damian Smith, uh, Trey Smith with another free throw. This one he'll knock through. And that'll cut it to a four-point game. Darian Richardson will bring it out here for the Blue Devils to Fisher, to Jakinis Hurd. Outlet pass off the glass, won't go. And a foul on the other end here by the Chattooga Indians. So that's going to send Jakinis to the free throw line for the first time of this basketball game. He's got four points. Model up by four points. And the foul was charged against Trey Smith, his second of the basketball game. Here's another free throw on the way. That is going to be short. Jakinis will get ready for his second free throw. Jakinis playing in his junior year. Good to know there will be a whole other season coming up with him as a Blue Devil. He makes the second free throw, 28-23. to 23. Here comes Damian Smith across the timeline. Jalen Johnson with it, circles around the paint, puts it up, misses, rebound taken by Chattooga. They may get another look. Going in is Trey off the glass, makes it in, and he was challenged by a couple of defenders, one of them Jeremiah's Hurd. That was a nifty move to get open enough to get that shot off. There's Jakinis Hurd, too strong off the glass. Quick trip there for the Blue Devils. Damian Smith has got the basketball. He dribbles around the top of the key, fires it out to Brody Mobs, and a three-point shot. That'll be an air ball. Here is a putback. It will go there for Damian Smith. He's got 10 points in the game, and now it's a one-point ball game. Model 28, Chattooga 27. Jeremiah's heard. Around to Cole Mathis, out to Dane Fisher for three. Yes, sir. Darian Fisher, or excuse me, Dane Fisher with the long, wrong three. I don't know why I want to keep combining their names. It's just kind of a weird thing going on. Jalen Johnson into the paint, puts it strong off the glass, won't go. Darian Richardson gets the rebound, leaves it for Dane Fisher. Fisher goes into the paint, the little floater, that one won't go. Rebound's going to be taken by Chatuga. Chatuga with it on the other end. Trey Smith's got it. He'll back up, fires it to the right wing side to Jalen Johnson, and he buries the three. Jalen Johnson, who's been quiet most of the night, silences the crowd with that shot. Model 31, Chatuga 30. One point ball game again. Inside to Jakinis Herb, backs his way in, challenges two defenders, and banks it in off the glass. Great effort by Jakinis Herb. Challenging underneath. Model 33, Chattooga 30. Across the timeline goes Damian Smith. Now back on to Jalen Johnson. Johnson leaves it for Trey. Trey goes in, puts up a floater. That's short off the rim. A little bit of a scrum underneath for the ball. Model comes up with it. I think everybody thought we were going to see a jump ball called. So the players kind of reacted strangely to it. But then Model goes the other way with it. Here's Cole Mathis with a nifty move underneath to shake off a defender and score. Model 35, Chattooga 30. Here come the Indians across the timeline. Damian Smith to set up the Chattooga half-court offense. Damian Smith with it, dribbling, feeds it off the left wing side. And now Mobs has got it, nearly has his pocket pick, but Chattooga's able to hang on to the basketball and we got a whistle and a foul. We got Darian Richardson with that one. Kenneth Hurd will check out of the game. Also, Jeremiah. So right now for the Blue Devils, Joey Samples, Dane Fisher, Fisher uh, Braxton Sims, Cole Mathis, and uh, Darian Richardson. I think that covers everybody. Tell you about Chattooga in a minute. Right now, Xavier Gray's got the ball, leaves it off for Damian Smith. You also have Jalen Johnson, 
Corey Gibson and L.A. Riley on the floor for the Indians. Right now the Indians with the ball trailing by five. They go into the paint. There's Gray off the rim. It won't go. That's going to be an offensive foul and a turnover here for the Indians. So the Blue Devils getting the ball back with a five-point lead late here in the third quarter of the basketball game. Here comes Darian Richardson trotting up the floor with it. Here for the Blue Devils running the point tonight. Screen set by Samples. They fire it to left wing side. Now in two Samples. Shoots. Scores. After shaking off a defender with a nice little move down low. Samples has got seven tonight. 37 to 30. Model on top by seven. Damian Smith with it. 51 seconds on the clock remaining here in the third quarter. They're going to leave it off for Brady Gross. He'll set a pick, gives it into the hands to Damian Smith, who knocks down a three-point shot. That cuts it back to a four-point game. 37-33 model on top of the Indians with 34 seconds left on the clock in the third quarter. Darian Richardson picks it up, tosses it back out to Jakinis Hurd, spins into the paint, puts it up. He gets blocked. Up. Outlet pass is picked off by Darren Richardson. Here's Dane Fisher for three. That one won't go. Diving up for the rebound was Joey Samples. Ball is going to be tipped out of bounds. Last touch by the Blue Devils, but a great effort by both teams underneath trying to come up with that one. So we're going to see Chatuga fire it into Damian Smith, trailing by four with 12 ticks left on the clock in the third quarter. Jalen Johnson with it. He is a nice low look pass inside to L.A. Riley, and he gets the finish, 37 to 35, two point ball game. Heaves it up at the buzzer, and it won't go. So at the end of our third quarter, we got a two point ball game. Ball game. Model 37, Chattooga 35. We'll be back in one minute. Johnson on to Trey Smith. Chatuga dribbling with it. Now they go over to the right wing side. Johnson will pick it up. Johnson being guarded by Darian Richardson. Drives towards the low block. Puts it up. He travels. Kind of shuffled his feet in front of the officials. And that will be a turnover. So Model going to get the ball back. Model led it 12-9 after the first quarter. 19-18. At the end of the first half and at the end of the third quarter, 37 to 35. And that's where we are right now, 30 seconds into the final quarter of the game. There's Darian Richardson for three. Yes, sir. Darian Richardson with a nice shot. He's got six points in the game, model back up by five. The first contest of the year was settled by a two point score. Last year, there were three matchups, two in the regular season, and then the region championship. All of them settled by a possession. Shot high off the glass. It won't go for Chattooga. One and done trip. The Blue Devils will bring it up the floor. Jakinis Hurd takes the pass as he crosses center court. Tries to go in, hits the deck. Ball gets loose, and it rolls out of bounds. 
So Chattooga's going to get the ball back, trailing by five points with 6.51 left to go in the ball game. Our next model basketball broadcast is scheduled for Tuesday, February the 8th, but we may add another one. We'll let you know in a day or two and figure that out. Chattooga with the ball. There's a three-point look, and that is good. Good-looking shot there for Damian Smith for three. And that'll cut it back to a two-point game. 40 to 38, Model still with the lead. But again, that lead's been cut back to two. Here's Jeremiah's Hurd at the top of the key. He'll feed it off to the right wing, and Cole Mathis now back into Hurd. He's standing down low inside the paint. It's picked off. Here's Jalen Johnson off the glass. It won't go, but he's going to the strike. Forty to thirty-eight, six oh nine remains in this contest. Getting ready to check back into the game is Braxton Sims here for the Blue Devils, and he'll give Darian Richardson uh, time to catch his breath a little bit. So right now for the Blue Devils, Jeremiah Hurd, Dane Fisher, Cole Mathis, Jakinis Hurd, and Braxton Sims. Jalen Johnson at the free throw line for Chattooga makes the first one. Also on the floor for the Indians, you got Brady Gross. Trey Smith, Damian Smith, and L.A. Riley is out there. Jalen Johnson with his second free throw. That one's left short. He goes in to try to get the rebound, but Jeremiah's Hurd comes out with it. Here comes Dane Fisher across the center court strike. Drives in, kicks it out. There's Braxton Sims for an open three. That one won't go. Rebound taken by Jeremiah's Hurd. Doesn't get the basket off, but there's contact, and he gets to the free throw line. 40 to 39 is your score. Model is up by one point with 5.56 remaining here in this basketball game. Another fun matchup between these two rivals. Shot on the way, and that is good. Jeremiah will get ready for another free throw. 41 to 39, model back up by two. Brady Gross checks out of the game. Checking in is Xavier Gray, the freshman. Let me tell you, I'm going to enjoy watching this young man develop over the next several years because as a freshman, he's a highly contributing player of this team. He knocks down the next free throw. Does Jeremiah's hurt, and now it's 42-39, to 39, a three-point lead here for the Blue Devils. Damian Smith across the timeline for Chattooga. He'll pass it off to Jalen Johnson, who goes into the paint, leaving it down low for L.A. Riley, but has his pocket pick. Jeremiah's Hurd comes up with it. The Fisher, the Jakinis Hurd, the Braxton Sims. They try to give it inside. The Jakinis Hurd. Ball is poked loose, but it stays with the Blue Devils. Inside of Jeremiah's off the glass and in. Jeremiah's Hurd gets the crowd into it. 44 to 39 is your score. And Jared Gross, the head coach of the Chattooga Indians, calls a timeout. We'll do the same. Model 44, Chattooga 39, 5.20 left to go in the ball game. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Back live from inside Woodard Gymnasium, and you can hear Queens, We Will Rock You, playing over the PA, trying to get the crowd stomping their feet and feeding some energy to these two teams. And speaking of energy, certainly a lot of it in the room here tonight. We've had a wonderful night of basketball. The Model Lady Blue Devils came up short, 51 to 47, but what a great effort to come back in that game as Chattooga would open the girls game with a 17-0 run to start the game. Model would battle back, had it within three, and ended up losing that game by four. Uh, so always tough to lose a game, but man, what a great comeback attempt for that team and just the way they keep battling despite facing some adversity throughout the season in that basketball game. 
Davar Gray with it. Puts up a floater. That one's going to go off the back of the rim. Gets his own rebound. Feeds it out to Jalen Johnson at the top of the key. Down low. The pass comes from Johnson to L.A. Riley. He comes up with the finish. L.A. Riley does and cuts it back to a three-point game. 41 to 40, uh, excuse me, 44 to 41. Model on top by three. Jared Gross having a little conversation with one of the officials. There was some confusion there as Model was getting set to inbound the basketball. Looks like they got it all square and we're ready to roll. So Dane Fisher feeds it into Richardson. Back to Fisher. Back to Richardson. He will try to pass it across the center court line. It is picked off. Here comes the Indians on the other end. Damian Smith dribbling with the ball around a pick. Set by Ellie Riley. Back out to Trey Smith. No look for him. He'll pass it on to Gray. And then they'll get it back out to Damian Smith. Jalen Johnson will now back up to around center court and reset here for the Indians. 425 left to go in the game. Ball on top by three. They feed it inside of Trey Smith. And he banks it in off the glass. So Trey Smith with another basket here for the Indians, and it's a one-point game again. Model across the center court strike. Dane Fisher with it. Fisher loses the handle, and it rolls out of bounds. It was just one of those situations where he started his dribble and started to move, and the ball just kind of slipped off his fingertips, and he couldn't reel it back in. Well, that's going to be another timeout called. We'll do the same. 4.05 left to go in the game. Model 44 to 2 to 43 when we come back in 30 seconds. High school basketball tonight on WLAQ. Brought to you by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales. Also Harvey South End Autos, Profile Custom Extrusions, and Wear Mechanical. And it's been a long night, but it's been a fun night. We appreciate you tuning in to 96.9 FM, 1410 AM. Tune in radio app or the WLAQ 1410 website and listen live. Glad to have you along with us tonight for coverage of the basketball games. Model 44, Chattooga 43. We are at the halfway mark officially of the final quarter of the game. Jalen Johnson with the ball at the top of the key is going to leave it off for L.A. Riley. Now back up to Johnson being guarded by Dane Fisher. He'll try to work around, throws his elbow up. Now they kick it back out and will reset. Damian Smith with the ball here for the Indians. He will try to fire it across to another man, and it is picked off by Fisher. Fisher on the other end of the floor. Picks it up, kicks it out to Jeremiah Hurd, who flings it in to Jakinis Hurd. Back out to Fisher for three. That one's off the mark. And the, re and the ball is going to be back in the hands of Chatuga. They fling it out to left wing side of Jalen Johnson. He dribbles baseline, pushed out of bounds by Jeremiah Hurd. And now Jalen Johnson defeated in here for the Chatuga Indians. We've got a one-point game, model 44, Chatuga 43. 319 left to go. Jalen Johnson will feed it in on the baseline to L.A. Riley as we resume. Now back to Johnson. Puts up a three-point shot. Caroms off the rim and out. Rebound taken by Dane Fisher. He will leave it off for Darian Richardson, who brings it across the center court stripe in front of the scorer's table. Now flings it to the left wing side to Fisher. Now a pick set for him up top. Back out to Jakinis Hurd. A lob pass underneath to Jeremiah Hurd, and he scores. Jeremiah Hurd underneath, 46-43, model on top by three. Here comes Jalen Johnson across the timeline. Dribbles around a pick set at the top of the key by L.A. Riley. Passed it to the right wing to Smith, now back to Johnson. Johnson leaves it off to Damian Smith, who goes into the paint, picks up his dribble, needs some help. Finds Trey Smith, ball on the floor, diving for it was Cole Mathis. Smith for a three, kind of rushed the shot a little bit, goes off the rim, 
out of bounds. Model really thought it should be in their favor. And they're saying Chattooga ball and the fans here at Model are not happy about that call. From their perspective, they thought it should be Models. But Chattooga has it with 222 left, trailing by three. Chattooga with the ball. Damian Smith bulldozes his way in, kicks it out to Xavier Gray. Gray with a floater, misses. And the ball goes out of bounds on the baseline. No, actually, they're going to call a foul. It's going to go against the Blue Devils. And I guess you can tell by the reaction of the model crowd how they feel about that call. I don't think they're going to try to be best friends with the official after the game's over is what I'm trying to tell you. It was on Dane Fisher. Smith goes in, gets blocked, but apparently there was some contact there. Cole Mathis picked up his third foul of the game, and that'll send Trey Smith to the free throw line where he's been once before tonight and is one for two. So Trey Smith, the charity strike, late in this game here for the Indians. Shot on the way, that rattles off the back of the rim. He'll get ready for his next free throw. So again, Trey Smith at the free throw line, dribbles a couple of times, shot on the way. That one will rattle in this time. And now it's a two point ball game. Model still on top, 46 to 44. Ch Dane Fisher across the timeline dribbles. Goes to the top of the key. He's well covered, so he finds teammate Jakinis Hurd, dumps it off to him. Now on to Cole Mathis. They'll work it around to Darian Richardson. Under two minutes to play, we're at the 148 mark here of the basketball game. There's Jakinis Hurd, tries to fire it into Jeremiah Hurd. The pass is picked off. Here we are on the other end. Jalen Johnson feeds it out to Trey Smith. That's offline on the three-point shot, a miss. So the model Blue Devils dodged a bullet after the turnover there. Darian Richardson with it across the timeline here for the Blue Devils. Dribbles off the left wing side over near the model bench. Now back up top to Jakinis Hurd. Dane Fisher with the ball. Now to Richardson. Richardson has his pocket pick. Here is a breakaway shot off the glass. Easy bucket there for Jalen Johnson. I was just about to say, we haven't really seen uh, many runouts here in this basketball game, many transition buckets, and then you get one from Jalen Johnson. So that ties up the ball game at 46 apiece at the 106 mark here of our final quarter. We have a timeout on the floor, and we'll take one as well. 46 apiece, knotted up with 106 left to go. Model and Chattooga, when we come back in 30 seconds. Well, I'm starting to think that some, that the world would be coming to an end if uh, if a game between model Chattooga boys basketball wasn't settled on the last shot, because here we are again, folks, at the one-minute mark, officially under a minute to play, 46 apiece. We're all square. Model and Chattooga boys. Jakinis Hurd with it. Feeds it on to Cole Mathis. Now on to Darian Richardson. Now to 50 seconds, underneath 50 seconds. And a foul's going to be charged against Chattooga. Chattooga fans were hoping that they would get a traveling call. Mala fans rooting for the foul, and the foul is what occurred. Still a couple of fouls to give, actually four fouls to give here for Chattooga. So they feed it in on the inbound pass to Hurd. Richardson trying to feed it back to Jeremiah Hurd. Ball nearly picked off. There was some contact, and we got another foul. Richardson didn't like the call. It was on him. He picks up his third. But he doesn't want to protest too loudly because you definitely don't want to end up in a situation where you're pick, picking up a technical. I'm not suggesting he was getting into that territory, but he certainly uh, didn't like the call. 35 seconds left to go on the clock. Jalen Johnson across the timeline. He'll set up shot right in front of the scorer's table. 
With 30 seconds to go, it looks like Chattooga may battle for the last shot. Well, they're going to take a timeout here with 30, well, 28.5 seconds left to go to talk this thing over. But we are staying right here. We're not going anywhere, folks. We don't want to miss any of the action of this game with a dead heat here with 28.5 seconds left to go. We're tied up at 46 apiece between the model Blue Devils and the Chattooga Indians. And again, this is just commonplace. Nobody is ever shocked anymore when these two teams get together and you got a game that goes down to the last possession of the game, which is looking like this one is certainly going to go to. So again, it is 28.5 seconds left on the clock. Model and Chattooga all locked up at 46 points apiece. As far as the remaining schedule for the Blue Devils, after tonight, they're going to go on the road to play at Unity coming up on Friday. They'll host Pepperell on Tuesday, February the 8th. On Friday, February 11th, that will be the conclusion of the regular season before the region tournament begins on February 14th and also the Fannin County games that were supposed to be played here on January 21st. I believe they've been scheduled for this Thursday, but you may want to check with the school on that one. As Fannin County on February or, tw or January 21st, they were supposed to come here and they had some icy road conditions and couldn't get here for the games. What in safe driving conditions. All right, here we go, folks. 28.5 seconds. Chattooga will inbound to Damian Smith in the backcourt. He dribbles across the center court stripe, being guarded by Darian Richard Richardson. Hand-to-man -man coverage from the Blue Devils. Right now, Xavier Gray on to Jalen Johnson, and we're going to have another timeout called by Coach Gross here for the Chattooga Indians with 12 seconds left on the clock. Didn't like what he was seeing there from his team, and they want to regroup and talk this over, see what they're going to do with the final seconds here of regulation. Wouldn't be surprised if we didn't get us some free basketball here tonight from Model High School. It's just after 9 o'clock. You're listening to Model Basketball Night presented by Mathis Trailers and Equipment Sales on WLAQ, 1410 AM, 96.9 FM, Rome, Georgia. Little station ID there for you close to the top of the hour. But again, 12 seconds left to go in the basketball game. Chattooga just called a timeout. We are in a dead heat at 46 apiece between the Model Blue Devils hosting the Chattooga Indians. Here comes the Model Blue Devils back out on the floor. On the floor for the Blue Devils, Jakinis Hurd, Jeremiah Hurd, Cole Mathis, Dane Fisher, Darian Richardson. And we'll see who all's out on the floor here for Chattooga. As they come out of the timeout, you're going to have Jalen Johnson who will set things in motion. you got Trey Smith, Damian Smith, Xavier Gray and L.A. Riley on the floor here for the Chattooga Indians. Ten seconds to go. They get it into Damian Smith. And that is a offensive foul against Damian Smith and Chattooga. Darian Richardson takes the charge, and the Blue Devils have got the ball with 7.9 seconds left to go in the basketball game. Oh, my goodness. So the model Blue Devils will have the ball in their hands on offense here in the closing seconds of the game. Again, a charge is called against Damian Smith, and taking the charge was Darian Richardson to get the ball back here for the Blue Devils. So kudos to that young man helping his team out here late in this basketball game to have the final shot potentially here. So right now, Jacob Travis talking to his team right now, figuring out what they're going to draw up off the inbound pass to see if how they can get their best look and try to close this game out in regulation. Meanwhile, on the other end of the floor, Jared Gross and his coaching staff trying to figure out their best way to defend this inbound possession here for the Blue Devils and get a stop and, and hopefully for them send this thing to overtime. Well, let's see if the Blue Devils can get a basket here and close this thing out and win this thing in the regular season and even up the season series between these two teams. And we'll see what happens in the region tournament. I would not be one bit surprised if we didn't see a rematch for the region championship that we saw last year. But at the same time, you can't count out teams like the Coosa Eagles who already defeated Model twice in the regular season. 
Dade County's got a good team. You got some good basketball being played in 7AA. Here's the inbound pass. Richardson to Cole Mathis. Drives the paint. He turns, shoots at the buzzer. Rattles off the rim. They got a look. Maybe not the look that they wanted, but they got a look. Couldn't get the shot, and we're going to overtime. So at the end of regulation, model 46, Chattooga 46, and we're getting free basketball. Let's step out for one minute on WLAQ. got a text message from my mom Sandy Davis telling me not to have a stroke <laughs> well I feel like I probably could I mean this has been a heck of a night of basketball here inside Woodard Gymnasium and it's not over yet we've got a four minute overtime period coming up and to talk a little bit about the sequence towards the end of the game Chattooga had possession of the ball everybody tied up at 46 apiece they had close to 30 seconds left in the game had a hard time getting their offense going, finding what they were looking for. They took a timeout with 12 seconds left to go. Out of the timeout, you would see Darian Richardson take a charge from uh, Damian Smith, turn the ball over. Model would have just under eight seconds to work with. They inbound the ball, got it down low. Uh, Cole Mathis had a look, missed the shot. We're in overtime and Chattooga wins the toss and they will open up with possession of the ball in our overtime period. Fans are into this one. Don't go anywhere, folks. The roof is about to pop off of this place. Jalen Johnson leaves it for Xavier Gray. Gray with it up top. Now on to Damian Smith. Smith will back up and set up the half-court offense here for the Chattooga Indians, and that will chew up the first 30 seconds of the overtime period. Smith. Kicks it out. There's Xavier Gray. Three-point shot. Bounces high off the rim. He gets his own rebound. Chatuga's got the ball. It rolls into the backcourt and out of bounds. And it was last touched by Model, so it's going to stay with the Chatuga Indians. 3.21 left to go in the game. Tied up at 46 apiece. And that's where we were at the end of regulation. Overtime basketball here on WLAQ. Chattooga with the ball. Trey Smith has got it. Now back around to Damian Smith. Damian Smith backs up to around center court. Will set up the half-court offense for Chattooga. Drives down to the low block. Stops, pops, and scores. So Damian Smith, who has 18 points in the game, opens up the scoring in our overtime period. But on the other end, off the glass and in for Jeremiah Hurd. Now with eight points, Model ties it up. 48 to 48, we got 239 remaining in the overtime period. Jalen Johnson picks up the dribble, turns, shoots, misses. There's Jakinis Hurd battling for the rebound. Karim's off his arm and out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Chattooga Indians. Hope y'all are having fun out there. We're having fun bringing you the games tonight. They inbound the ball to L.A. Riley. All knotted up at 48 apiece with 2.23 left to go in the first overtime. Poked loose by Fisher. One-on-one -on -one with Smith underneath. Shakes him off, off the glass and rattles in. Dane Fisher with a big basket. He's got 16. Model on top by two. Model 50. Chattooga 48 with the basketball. We are officially under two minutes to play in overtime. Jalen Johnson turned, shoots off the glass and in. He's got nine points. We're tied up at 50. Dane Fisher across the timeline. Dribbles around a screen from Jeremiah's herd. Fires left wing side. Darian Richard for three. 
three. Yes, sir. Getting some love over on the sidelines from his teammates. 53-50, Model on top. They feed it around the left wing side, a three-point on the other end off the mark. Model's got the ball with 130. Dane Fisher to bring it up the floor for the Blue Devils. He's across the timeline, dribbles left, fires it to Cole Mathis, down low to Jakinis Hurd, two, turns, shoots, and scores. Jakinis Hurd, nine points, and Model with a five-point, 55-50 lead with 1.12 to go. Here come the Indians on the other end. Xavier Gray leaves it out to Damian Smith. A three-point shot off balance. Misses, but it stays with the Indians. Another three-point look. That's missed. Now the Blue Devils have got it, and this is not something you ever want to see for either team. But right now, Dane Fisher is on the floor grimacing in pain, and I was watching the ball, so I did not see what happened but he let out a pretty big scream right there. Right now, Darian Richardson is there with his teammate checking him out, and he is really upset talking about Darian Richardson. I literally feel like he has tears coming down his face. Dane Fisher now up, but he's gonna have to have some help off the floor, gets a round of applause here. And I tell you what, things don't look very good on that right leg there for Dane Fisher having to have some help. Right now the model bench appealing to the crowd for the fans to get on their feet and feed some energy to this team. Dane Fisher has some help off the floor, but that was a pretty scary situation there, particularly how he vocally reacted to that injury. Inbound pass, here come the Blue Devils with a five point lead. They try to get it down to Jakinis Herb. Ball is batted loose, but he battled and got it back. And we're going to have a timeout, but we are not going anywhere with the final 48.3 seconds left on this clock. We don't want to run the risk of missing anything. So we ended regulation in a dead heat at 46 apiece. So far in the overtime period, the Blue Devils have been able to outscore the Chattooga Indians nine to four and lead it by five points. 55 to 50, we've got 48.3 seconds left on the clock. So far the leading scorer in the game here for the Blue Devils is Dane Fisher who just left the game with an injury. He had 16 points. And again, 55 to 50. And I tell you, when he went down, the model fans were dead silent. And as I mentioned, you could hear Dane reacting to the pain that he was experiencing on the floor. He had to have some help off the floor from the trainer and a couple other folks. And they're now having a look at him back in the locker room. And we certainly hope that young man is going to be okay. And we're going to see him again before the season concludes because if you're a model you gotta have him and he's just fun to watch no doubt and a good kid Jeremiah's Hurd takes the inbound pass he's got it up at the top of the key leaves it off to Braxton Sims and right now model just trying to hang on to the basketball and get fouled a couple of fouls to give here for the Chattooga Indians before we see model at the charity stripe but Braxton Sims set to trigger it in for the Blue Devils so Sims Cole Mathis, Darian Richardson, Jeremiah Hurd, and Jakinis Hurd on the floor floor of the Blue Devils. And they get the inbound pass to Cole Mathis. He gets fouled. Still one more to give, though, for the Chattooga Indians. And we'll see Braxton Sims inbound the ball here for the Blue Devils as they try to bleed as much of this clock as they possibly can with a five-point lead here in overtime. They trigger it in to Cole Mathis in the backcourt. 38 ticks, and now he's going to be fouled nearly clobbered by Damian Smith who comes up a little bit gimpy on his left knee. I think he may have knocked knees there with Cole Mathis, but he got the worst end of it because Cole Mathis looks okay, but Damian Smith is really kind of grabbing at that left knee, so we may see him check out of the game in a minute. But checking out right now is going to be L.A. Riley back into the game as Xavier Gray at the free throw line shooting some really important free throws. Is going to be Cole Mathis here in overtime trying to ice this game for the Blue Devils. First shot on the way is good. He will get the back end of the one and one. 
56 to 50, Blue Devils on top by six. We got 36.9 ticks on the clock. Here's Mathis with another free throw, that one's in. So Cole Mathis potentially just iced this game. 57 to 50, but still time left here for Chattooga to mount a comeback. That's off the rim, it won't go. Brody Mobs with the ball in his hands, hits the deck. I think they're gonna charge Braxton Sims with a foul right there. Going to the free throw line is gonna be Brody Mob shooting two. And if you're model, this is not what you wanted to see as seeing Chattooga with an opportunity to get points with a clock stop with 28 seconds to go. And Brody Mobs is a good free throw shooter. He knocks down the first one to cut it back to a six point game. So Mobs at the free throw line, getting ready for his next free throw. 28 seconds left on the clock in overtime. Model up by six, shot on the way, it is good. He knocks down two in a row. That makes it a five point game. Model 57, Chattooga 52. Darren Richardson passed it to Cole Mathis. Took a little bit of time for Chattooga to get the foul. And now they're gonna send Cole Mathis to the free throw line on the other end. Made uh, his first two in overtime and he's got a couple of more opportunities here to try to ice this game. 24.5 seconds left on the clock here in overtime. Game is locked up at 46 apiece at the end of regulation. Shot on the way is good. He will get the back in. So now that makes it a six point game again. Model 58, Chattooga 52. Next free throw on the way, that one will fall. So clutch free throw shooting by Cole Mathis here in the overtime period, and that may have got it, 59 to 52, but you can never count out the Indians with this much time to go. 20 seconds, 17 seconds. Here's Jalen Johnson with a circus three off the front of the rim. And now the model Blue Devils can really feel it. Whistle and a foul as Jaquinis Hurd came down with the ball. Or I should say, uh, Darren Richardson coming down with the ball. He'll be at the free throw line. So Richardson at the stripe with 12.5 seconds left to go and model with a seven point lead, looking to ease up, even up the series of the season here between these two teams. That one rattles off the front of the rim. He'll get ready for his second free throw. Been a great night of basketball tonight at Model High School and we got some extra tonight. And it looks like we're going to see Model come away with a victory, a really important region victory. That rattles around the rim and makes its way through. And now Model leads it by eight points, 60 to 52. 10 seconds on the clock, a heave, a long three-point shot. It won't go. Jaquinis Herb with the board, and it looks like they're calling off the dogs. The Model Blue Devils are going to win it. That's it. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner tonight, the Model Blue Devils with a final score over the Chattooga Indians, 60 to 52, they get it. It took an extra period to do it, but the Model Blue Devils have defeated the Chattooga Indians in regular season to even up the season series and avoid the sweep, and they win it 60 to 52. What a heck of a ball game, folks. We're gonna send it back to the studio for a timeout. We come back. We'll run down the scoring from the game and wrap things up from inside Woodard Gymnasium. We'll be back. 